Legacy Church Facebook family and friends, it's Monday. What a great opportunity to do something special in your life and the life of others. This morning, I want to talk real quickly about a subject maybe you've heard a lot about if you grew up in church, maybe not much about, but it's a big word, and it's the word faith. Faith is that ability to see beyond present circumstances and believe for something greater, to believe in a different result. The Bible describes faith this way, the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You can live in a way where there's evidence, there's good evidence of things that you don't even see. What a great way to live and to know that you can walk into any situation, any discussion, any problem at work, into any relationship, into any issue in your own body and mind and have that faith view that regardless of what's going on, regardless of what it looks like right now, I have evidence of something better. There's actual evidence in my spirit that everything is going to work out for the best. What a great way to live with that Godfidence in that faith walk. Here's a few questions you can ask yourself about faith. Number one, do I have faith? Because you may look back in your life and see where there are times when you felt like, man, your faith was sore and you had great faith. And other times you felt like you had no faith at all. Well, the Bible says that, yes, everyone, every person has faith. Now, are there varying degrees of faith? Absolutely. Even the disciples prayed, Lord, we believe we have faith, but help our unbelief so we can grow our faith. How do we do that? By being around other faith-filled people, people that speak life into us and not death, that push us forward and try to, instead of trying to hold us back, by getting in the word, the Bible says, we can build our faith by hearing the word, by sharing our testimony, by being thankful, by telling others the great things that God has done in our life. You can build your faith. Do you have faith? Yes, you have faith. Here's a second question, maybe even the bigger question. Who is your faith in? To me, that's always been my challenge because it's, it's easy for me to have faith, but a lot of times my faith is displaced. My faith is in me and not necessarily in God. So I look at how I'm building my business and even uh, launching this new church. I look at man and I look at myself and I put my faith in the wrong place when our faith should be in God. Uh, one of the challenges in starting a church is always finances. Where are the finances going to come from? Because you're starting just, you know, maybe in a living room or in a hotel ballroom and there's no, there's no people there. There's no finances. There. Where is that going to come from? And I know in my own experience in the last few months, I put my faith in the wrong places. You know, I said other churches will partner with us. Other pastors, they'll see the vision. Other people in my life, they'll see it. They'll want to sow into it. But I was wrong in that. I was wrong. That, that hasn't happened. But you know what? That should be okay because my faith is in God. And God will supply according to his riches. And he'll supply in ways that I never would have imagined. And just this weekend, God has done that. In my life, in Megan's life, in the church, God has provided in ways that I never would have imagined. My faith was in the wrong place. And it can be that way in your life. Here's another question. What would you do when your faith is tested? Because here's the thing. Maybe you're not in discouragement today. Maybe you're not in a storm today, but just hold on. It's coming. It rains on the just, the unjust. You know, there are going to be times when life just stinks. So what are you going to do? And if you can have your mindset in faith, even before you get there, guess what? You're going to be able to go through that thing and come out on the other side. Job was a righteous man, had faith, lost everything he had, his health, his family lost his possessions. Read the Bible story about it. But at the end of the day, he said, though he, though God slay me, yet I will trust in him. Now, trust is that highest dimension of faith, I think, because it says, Lord, you know, even if things aren't going my way, if things aren't working out the way I thought they would, I pray that you would restore my health, but you haven't, but still I'll trust you. Now, that's an attitude that'll bring blessing to your life. And at the end of the day, God replaced everything twofold and just gave him great increase. But knowing today how you'll respond tomorrow, friend, that'll set you up for great success in life. I believe in you and I believe in your dreams, but here's the thing, more than that, God does. And he believes more than I do. And if you'll just trust him, he'll allow you to see beyond the present and not be afraid. You'll be able to sleep at night. 
you'll be able to rest again. You'll be able to have a calmness in your spirit because you'll believe that God is working all things for my good. I hope you have great faith today. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.